Sports from KYMA News 11. UMA Catholic boys basketball playing for home court on their home court. Welcome back, everyone. The Shamrocks currently ranked fourth in the 3A polls with five games remaining in the regular season. Tonight, the Rocks look to keep piling up the wins as they welcome Parker to town. To Pat Carroll, Odin McElhaney Gym, where head coach Luke Stuckey and the Shamrocks looking for their 18th win on the season. Early first quarter, the Rock Sebi Patain with the fake pass and then decides to launch a three-pointer himself. Patain with a deep splash, Rock's on the board. But the Bronx looking to answer. Nice ball movement, sending the ball deep into the paint. Trevor Elliott with the baseline pass to Alex Welch, who makes his shot count Parker down one. Rock's answer from long distance, Braden Moore finds Landon. Urquillo in the near corner, and the sophomore is dialed in. Rocks by four. Moments later, it's Urquillo again. This time from the top of the key. Yuma Catholic dialed in early, leading by seven. More Shamrocks. Urquillo drives inside, dumps off to Jackson Jones, who finishes with the bucket in the paint. Yuma Catholic would pull away and take the home victory by a convincer. They're now 18-4 and four on the season with four games left. Move over to Yuma's east side as coach Joe Daly and the Gila Ridge Hawks get another tough test this time against state power Ironwood. Late second quarter, the Eagles showing why they're one of the top teams in the state. Jordan Kuak knocks down the wide open three ball. But the Hawks would stay scrappy. Peyton Smith fights through the double team, getting it to Jaden Rivera, who stops and pops from the top of the key. But Ridge still down 25 points. But the Hawks would keep fighting. Cameron White is going to get fouled right here, earning a trip to the free throw line, putting down the first free throw, and then he's going to get some tip-in help for the second for the three-point play. But it would prove to be a long night for the Hawks as they were grounded, taking the tough 70-22 to defeat. Ouch. Well, a prep girls basketball top 20 showdown in Class 3A, 17th-ranked Parker taking on Bobby McGalliard and the 20th-ranked Human Catholic Shamrocks. Very physical game early. Rocks feeding the junior Ryan Martinez. She's tied up and put down to the floor, but she was okay. Martinez would get her vengeance. Missing the Rock shot. It's tipped to Martinez. Finishes with the drive down in the lane. Rocks on the board first, courtesy of Martinez. More Ryan, this time on defense. Watch this one. Boom, not in my house. Nice little block. Nice presence there by Martinez. Parker on the attack. Tyra Robledo with a pass to Cassandra Sandoval, but both bodies hitting the floor. This physical play would go throughout the night. Moments later, Bronx off to another tough bucket. Tyra Robledo with the bucket, and then Yuma Catholic's Reese Sellers with the floater that would fall short. This would just be physical through and through, but when it came down to it, the Shamrocks would prevail by the final. 61 to 54. We move on to some matinee prep girls soccer with Mike Moreno and the Yuma Lady Criminals trying for their first win of the season, taking on Younger. Early first half off the Yuma goal kick. Rough Riders would try for a shot attempt, but Chavira Nunez swoops in to make the nice defensive stop. But the Lady Crims would struggle to clear the zone. A few plays later, Yunker's Damaris Samora's blast on goal saved by Lady Crims keeper Azaria Pacheco, who would have herself another busy match. Case in point to Rough Riders. Keep pressing. Valeria Guillen's top shelf shot attempt batted away last second by Pacheco. Unfortunately, she couldn't stop them all. Lady Crims remained winless on the season, taking the tough 8-0 loss. We finish with senior night at Veterans Memorial Stadium as Alfonso Perez and the Gila Ridge boys soccer team taking on state juggernaut Ironwood. Early second half, the Eagles trying to increase their one goal lead, but defender Carlos Vasquez making a nice block on a would-be goal scoring attempt, keeping Ridge in the match. The Hawks would try in transition. Noel Ochoa takes advantage of the dribbling miscue, but he's going to get tripped on the crossover attempt. This sets up a long distance free kick by Moises Hernandez. Watch this ball. It gets through traffic. The opposing keeper didn't see it, and it sails to the back of the net. Nice. Match all tied at one goal apiece. The Hawks would have to rally two more times, and this match would be a nail-biter to the end, ending in a 3-3 tie. And finally, the Winter Olympics begins February 3rd. That's just six days from now. With the opening ceremony on the 4th, you can only catch the action right here 
on News 11. All right, we're done with this round of sports. There's more to come right after this.